Proudly, we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story as proudly we hail the officers and men of the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Our story is entitled, The Safety Factor. This is the story of Major Leonard Marchese and the crew of Strategic Air Command's Air Force Bomber 9728, a B-36 that ran into a peculiar kind of trouble while making a routine landing on a beautiful day. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first... Young men of America, today there is an urgent need for aircraft observers in your United States Air Force. If you can measure up, here's your chance to get the finest aviation training. Training that equips you to fly in the most modern aircraft in the world and prepares you for executive positions in military aviation. You graduate from aircraft observer training as a second lieutenant, specializing in radar, navigation, or bombardment. You'll receive a starting salary of approximately $5,000 a year and a liberal uniform allowance. To qualify as an aviation cadet in the aircraft observer training program, you must be a high school graduate, be between 19 and 26 and a half, unmarried, and in good physical condition. For complete information, visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station. Or write to Aviation Cadets, Headquarters, Department of the Air Force, Washington, 25, D.C. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hailed production, The Safety Factor. <laughs> The safety factor. You know what that is? It's the extra allowance an engineer figures on in his plans to meet emergencies. If he's building a bridge that should have to stand a maximum weight of half a million pounds, he may plan the bridge so it can stand 750,000 pounds. In other words, he allows 250,000 pounds for the safety factor. Now, this is a story about a B-36 intercontinental bomber and its commander, Major Leonard Marchese, and his crew, first pilot Gimmel, flight engineer Schwartz and some 19 other men, gunners and navigators, and the men who operate the complicated electronic equipment on the big plane. The safety factor in this story turned out to be the skill and ingenuity and experience of the aircraft commander, Major Marchese, which was brought into play when the B-36 ran into trouble. It was the end of a perfectly routine 15-hour training flight, a lovely, sunny, hot afternoon in Texas. Major Marchese and his crew were coming into Carswell Air Force Base outside of Fort Worth. He called the tower for landing instructions. Carswell Tower, this is Air Force 9728, 10 south of Carswell. Request landing instructions. Request GCA, full step. Air Force 9728, this is Carswell Tower. Land on runway 36, wind 25 from the north, altimeter. 3002, switch to channel F for Foxtrot for GCA. Roger, Coswell Tower, 9728, out. Coswell GCA, this is Air Force, 9728. Do you read? Air Force, 9728, this is Coswell GCA. Read you loud and clear. You're now 10 miles west of the station on your downwind leg. You should have completed your gyro check. Make a 360 degree right delaying turn. We have traffic. Call Coswell GCA when right turn is completed. Air Force 9728, this is Coswell GCA. Turn left now, heading 090. Descend to 1,000 feet. Maintain 090. Check your gear down lock. Roger. Coswell GCA, 9728. 
Gear down. Checklist complete. Air Force 9728. Carswell GCA. Stand by for left turn to final approach. Aircraft commander to pilots. Checklist is complete. Ready to land. You've got it, John. Good Lord, John, stop clowning around. We're not acrobats. Let's get back on course and get on the ground. Hey, see, this is pilot. I'm not stunning. I can't hold her. She just won't turn anymore. Give me a hand. I'm right with you, John. Maybe between us, we can get the wheel back to center. I'm switching from GCA to tower. Carswell Tower. This is 9728. Emergency. Stand by one. Aircraft is uncontrollable. We're in a steep right wing down bank. Lost 400 feet. Plane keeps turning right. We can't control her. Can't get the wing up. Can't make her turn left. I understand, 9728. Give me a call when you pinpointed trouble. Roger, Coswell. 9728. We're alerting crew for possible bailout. Aircraft command of the crew. Stand by to crash. Take crash landing positions. Acknowledge all compartments. Nose compartment, roger. Photo compartment, roger. Radio compartment, roger. Half compartment, roger. Pilot, this is AC. John, let's get on this wheel and push hard. Full left rudder. I'll crank in the rudder trim to full left. Everything's pretty quiet, Bob. Now bring me up to date. Now look, the log shows everything. You take over for me in about 10 minutes. Everything's under control. Only aircraft not from this base is Major Marchese bringing in the B-36, 9728. He's requested clearance and coming in now on GCA. Ah, everything seems to be in order, Art. Marchese. I'll be glad to see him. Haven't seen Len for a long time. A funny thing, you know, we were born within a dozen blocks of each other in New York. Yeah? He married a girl I used to know in California. There's three kids now at Rapid City. Ah, he's a good flyer. Well, he's not acting like one. What do you think he's doing, stunting a big plane like that? Look, look at that, Bob. Well, that isn't like Len Marchese. Hey, he's not stunting. He's in trouble. Something's gone wrong. The plane's fallen off to the right. They must have lost half their altitude. They're gonna... Coswell Tower, this is 9728. Emergency. Stand by one. Aircraft is uncontrollable. We're in a steep right wing down bank. Lost 400 feet. Plane keeps turning right. We can't control her. Can't get the wing up. Can't make her turn left. Understand, 9728. Give me a call as soon as you pinpointed trouble. Roger, Coswell. 9728. We're alerting crew for possible bailout. You'd better warn other planes, Art. I'm just about to, Bob. Coswell Tower to all aircraft. Coswell Tower to all aircraft within the Coswell area. The field is closed. I say again, Coswell is closed. All aircraft orbit 10 miles north of Coswell until emergency is over. Coswell Tower to all aircraft in area. The field is closed. Yeah, that takes care of that. Plane stopped falling and leveling off, but still turning. I'm going to clear the field. Get all personnel and aircraft out of the way. Give him room if he can come down. You got the trouble book? I've got the tech book ready. Seem to have the plane in some sort of control. See? They're still circling to the right. They're not falling anymore. If they can gain altitude, they could jump. Air Force 9728, this was Coswell Tower. Anything new? Air Force 9728, this is Coswell Tower. Full left rudder. I'll crank in the rudder trim and give a full left rudder. Roger. AC, this is Engineer. You check the autopilot. AC to Engineer. Roger, checked. AC to engineer. Give me climb power. Roger, AC. Climb power coming on. John, this is Len. Let's keep it at this. We're too low to bail out, so we've got to keep fighting. Go on, tell me what to do. I'll do it. You used to be a fighter, John. Good thing you've got strong arms. We'll keep at it until we lick it. Engineer, this is AC. Any suggestions? We're not losing anything now. Still circling to the right. Right wing's still down. Schwartz, the increased power just makes us go faster, but doesn't let us climb. 
What do you think of unbalanced power? Let's try reducing power on the two outboard engines on the left side. Let's see what happens. Roger, Len. I'll handle the power for you. Let me know what you want. You've got it. You've got primary control at all times. Now, John, that seems to help some, doesn't it? Yeah, we're still circling, Len, but it's a much wider turn. We've increased the radius of turn. I think we'll try cutting back number three engine, too. Why not? Aircraft commander to engineer. I'm going to try cutting back number three engine. Let's see what happens with that. Roger, Ace. Schwartz, I've got a little directional control now. The right wing is still down. We're skidding through the air, crabbing, but I think we're reasonably safe for a time. We've got enough fuel aboard to stay aloft for several hours. Roger, Ace. Second engineer, this is AC. Go back to the bomb bay, check all the control cables. Check tension, check the pulleys. Roger, AC. AC to left gunner. Check the aft compartment. Go back in tail section, check all the control cables. Roger, AC. Left gunner, we'll go. AC to scanners. Check your flaps. Check your control surfaces. Let me know if you see anything that is out of the ordinary or doesn't look normal. Len, this is John. What do you expect to find? I don't know, John. I'm just hoping that we'll find a control cable that's frozen and can be freed. Air Force 9728. This is Carswell Tower. Anything new? Carswell Tower, Air Force 9728. Trying unbalanced power. It permits some directional control. We are checking on controls and cables. We'll keep you advised. Roger, 9728. Keep in touch. Airfield is cleared. All planes have been warned away from the area. We're ready to help in any way possible. Roger, Tower. I'm just trying to stay aloft and in the area until we can find out what's wrong. Hope to be able to fix it so we can land or gain enough altitude so we can bail out. How's your fuel supply? We've been up for several hours this way. But in order to keep from going to the right, we've got to give a full left rudder and use the engines on the right side only. We're crabbing at almost 45 degrees. Don't know how long the plane can take it. We're going to have to do something in a hurry whether we find the trouble or not. We can't keep doing this very long. You are listening to the proudly we hail production, The Safety Factor. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Today, thousands of alert and intelligent young men are needed to enter aircraft observer training and become flying officers in the United States Air Force. If you act now, you can get a four-month selective service deferment and stand a good chance of being enrolled in a training class before your deferment expires. Upon graduation, you'll receive a commission as a second lieutenant, your silver wings, a liberal uniform allowance, and a starting salary of approximately $5,000 a year. For complete information, write to Aviation Cadets, Headquarters, Department of the Air Force, Washington, 25, D.C. Classes begin every two weeks. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of The Safety Factor. Aircraft 9728, a B-36 intercontinental bomber, was in trouble over Carswell Air Force Base outside of Fort Worth, Texas. As it was coming in for a routine landing after a routine trip, it suddenly went into a steep, descending right bank. Aircraft Commander Major Leonard Marchese, sitting next to First Pilot John Gimmel, added his hand and strength to the wheel and rudder bar. Between them, they stopped the fall, but all they could do was to circle the field at the same low altitude, with a right bank of from 6 to 10 degrees. Major Marchese sent the left gunner and second engineer back to the bomb bay and the tail section to see if they could see what was wrong. Second engineer to aircraft commander, back at station. Everything seems to be in shape in the bomb bay. Everything's okay in the wings. Roger, second engineer. AC, this is left gunner. Back at station from Granary. Everything looks okay back there. No help. Roger, gunner. 9728. This is Carswell Tower. Can you report? This is 9728, Tower. Visual scanners report nothing out of the way to cause right wing down position or tendency to turn to the right. 9728, Tower. Roger. Describe condition. 
Tower, 9728 here. We seem to have aircraft under control, but we're in almost a 45 degree left crab. Right wing is still down anywhere from six to 10 degrees. With engines one, two, and three pulled back, we can turn as much as 30 degrees to the left and can turn to the right by varying the throttle setting on any one of the left engines. In other words, you have directional control now up to about 30 degrees either way. Roger. Or can turn to the extreme right. 9728. The control officer recommends you try engaging autopilot. Roger, Tower. We'll try autopilot and report. Engineer, this is AC. Tower suggests we try autopilot. Thought you'd want to know. Roger, Ace. Everybody wants to get into the act, even the autopilot. Have you connected it? It's connected. Pilot, this is AC. Relax pressure on wheel. Let's see if the autopilot can hold. Okay, Land, we can try it, but it won't work. Taking all that both of us can give to hold the wheel and rudder. It's worth a trial, John. All right, but not a long one, Ace. AC to pilot. You're right, John. Can't be a long one. We've just maintained enough altitude to be safe for a little while. We can't risk losing much of it. All right, look, here we go again, off to our right. Give it a chance, John. All right, that's enough. I'll disconnect. Carswell Tower, this is 9728. Autopilot can't hold us. Back to manual control. Roger, 9728. Aircraft commander to crew. We've got to try to come in for a landing. We can't get high enough to risk a bailout. We can't fly straight. We're going to try to straighten out enough to come down at Carswell. AC to engineer. We've still got quite a right wing down condition. Wonder if we can't get more lift into that wing by using the two jets on the right side. Well, the jets might give more lift to that wing and might increase the crab, too. John, I'm going to try to run the two jets on the right side. I'll have to reach up overhead for the throttles. Can you hold the wheel without me? Go ahead, Skipper. I'll try. Roger. I'll reach now. Len, this is pilot. I can't hold it. Wing's going down. We're beginning to fall again. Okay, John. I've got it now. Come on. We can get her back. There. That's better now. Sorry, I just can't hold it alone. Well, there's no sense in me trying to hold it alone if you can't. I wonder now if I brace my right hand against the wheel and bring up my right leg, put my elbow on my knee, maybe I can steady it that way and reach up for the throttle with my left hand. There, I've got it. Starting numbers three and four jets. Cars will power to 9728. Anything to report? 9728 to tower. Just started the number three and four jets to get more lift into the right side. Roger, 9728. Did it help? It picked us up, but only a bit. The right wing bank is reduced to about four degrees now. That seems to be as little as we can get it, I'm afraid. I can't see anything to do but try to bring her down. This is tower, 9728. Whenever you say... Keep us informed. Roger. Land, we can swing around and keep her on course by jockeying the number three engine. Right. But we can maneuver enough so we should have a chance to hit the runway. Skipper, this is Schwartz. Just let me know what you want and you'll get it. Roger. I'm calling the field for a landing. Coswell Tower, this is 9728. We're coming in. Emergency landing. We have fair control of the aircraft. However, we can't know just what will occur once we get down close to the ground. Roger, 9728, Carswell Tower. All equipment, all personnel are clear. Either side of the runway, you're cleared to land. Cleared for straight in approach. 9728 to tower. Roger. Aircraft commander to crew. Assume crash landing positions. Acknowledge all compartments. Nose compartment AC, Roger. Radio compartment, Roger. Photo compartment, roger. Half compartment, roger. Pilot and engineer, this is aircraft commander. On this final approach, we'll maintain speed at about 150 to 155. Use 10 degrees of flaps. We'll drop the gear about five miles out. Now, John, as soon as we come over the fence, when I holler now, 
Release the pressure on the left rudder. I'll take care of the throttles and hope we can square away on the runway so we're not hitting it at the 45-degree crab. Roger, Len. Roger. Schwartz, I'm going to cut the jets again. They don't add much lift and they add tremendously to the crab. Roger, Len. Nine seven two eight's coming in for landing, Bob. Can you see her, Art? Yeah, not too far away. I saw a plane fly that way before. She's really in so much of a crab, she's going as much sideways as she is forward. Yeah, right wing is still down, too. Major Marchese said he had it reduced to about four degrees. Uh, from here, it looks more than that to me. Any more than five or five and a half degrees in the right jet pod, the number four pod will hit the runway before the landing gear touches down. Could cause the plane to cartwheel. I'm worried about that crab, too. I don't see how he can get squared away enough to come down on the runway. I don't know, but I have a feeling. Well, if if anyone can do it, Len Marchese can. 9728, calling Carswell Tower. Carswell Tower to 9728. Come in, 9728. 9728 to Tower. That's just what we're about to do. Tower to 9728. Come in at your discretion. Runway's cleared. All aircraft and personnel have been removed. Emergency equipment stand by. 9728 to Carswell. Roger. We'll land at 150 to 155 miles per hour. Tower to 9728. Good luck. But John, remember, as soon as we come over the fence, when I holler, now, release the pressure on the left rudder. I'll take care of the throttles. Roger, Len. Commander, this is that good left gunner. Skipper, we're all in crash landing position. But what I want to know is, does our bet still hold? Bet what bet? Well, Skipper, when we left Rapid City, we had a deal. If you brought us down without shaking us up too much, we'd stand to treat you. But if you shook us up, then you'd have to treat us. How about it? You trying to back out now? <laughs> A.C., the left gunner. You've got more faith than sense. But it's my treat if I shake you up. Skipper, we all have faith in you and Schwartz and Gimmel. If this great holds together, we think you can bring us down. And remember, it's me saying so. The best gunner in the whole Air Force. AC to left gunner. I'll just say this. The stand treat to you and the rest will be a pleasure. AC to pilot. All right, John. We're letting down now. Everything's under control. Looks good, John. I think we've got her made. Looks real good. Let's get over. Just a little bit more right. That's it. That's right, we've got it now, boy. We've got her made, just this way. We've got it made, no sweat on this one. Thank the Lord it's clear weather, not night or instruments. That would make it tough. But we're doing all right, boy. Now we're over the fence. Let's bring the nose up. Give me a little help, John, a little back stick, a little back pressure. Main gear must be almost ready to touch. Now! He's coming in. Look at that angle. They're too far to the left. No, no, there she goes. Swinging over toward the runway. That right wing's awful low. We can only get her straight. She's flying almost sideways. It's going to touch her down that way. Sideways. She'll shear off the, the landing gear. No, no, look at that. Look at that. Can't be more than a foot off the ground, and she's straightening out, squaring away, like a compass needle swinging through. Touching down now and running straight. Prettiest landing I ever saw. Little back stick. Little back pressure. Now, release the pressure. We've squared away. Main gear is down. Nose gear must be about touching. Nose gear down too now. AC to engineer. Ready the props. Engineer to AC, Roger. Ready. AC to engineer. Reverse props. Engineer to AC, Roger. Reverse. Lock the controls. Shut her down, Schwartz. Roger. Air 
aircraft commander to all compartments. Let's get out of here. And that's the way Major Marchese brought his crippled B-36 in at Carswell Air Force Base. He says he was the first one out of the plane, and the others followed him. Oh, boy, that's a laugh. You're telling me no sweat. Look at me, I'm ringing wet. <laughs> Hot afternoon over Fort Worth, and you say no sweat, huh? <laughs> well, I didn't mean the temperature. <laughs> anyway, I was talking to keep up my courage, I think. Yeah, yeah, or mine. Uh-oh, here comes that gunner to collect. Hey, uh, Skipper. Huh? Hey, what's wrong? You're trembling. Uh, oh, uh, my left leg and my right arm, I was pushing on them all the time. Too hard, I guess. What I wanted to say is, Skipper, you won. <laughs> I still don't know how you did it, but that was as smooth a landing as you ever made. We weren't shaking a bit. Treats on us, all right. For you and Gibble and Lieutenant Schwartz. Hey, where'd Lieutenant Schwartz go? Well, he was here a second ago. Oh, there he is, like a good flight engineer, going topside, trying to find out what caused the trouble. <laughs> Lieutenant Schwartz, the engineer, found out what the trouble was. A malfunctioning of the left inboard trim control. A technical order was instantly made mandatory, correcting the default before another B-36 took to the air anywhere. So this couldn't happen again to another B-36. Major Marchese received a letter of commendation from General Vandenberg and certificate of merit. Disaster was averted, but that was no accident. The Air Force does everything possible to keep such incidents from happening. But with all the planes we fly, there are bound to be emergencies. The Air Force trains its men well and gives them the best planes it can get. But when something goes wrong, it has one big ace in the hole, the ingenuity and experience of the aircraft commanders and crews. Proudly, we hail Major Leonard Marchese and the crack B-36 crew of Aircraft 9728 and the other officers and men of the Strategic Air Command's 28th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing at the Rapid City Air Force Base. Plan your tomorrow today. There's a future in flying for you young men who can qualify as aircraft observers in today's global air force. If you are between the ages of 19 and 26 and a half, a high school graduate, and are otherwise qualified, you have a future in flying as an aircraft observer. For full details, visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station today. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army and United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Kenneth Bangart speaking and inviting you to tune in the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>